As many of you may know, I have been going to this church my whole life, and the day I was baptized was the first of many wonderful moments I've had in this church. And then I came in. My earliest memories of St. Martin's are waiting for Godly Play that first Sunday, meeting Sarah, and the donuts. <laughs> Even though we don't have pictures to prove it, I was the first real-life baby Jesus in the Epiphany Passion. <laughs> we started our shared acting careers in the Epiphany Pageants, rising from the supporting roles of shepherds to the lead roles of Mary and Joseph, leaving our Oscar-level performances as an inspiration to all who would later take on the roles. We finished out our careers by reading for the pageant. We also were very active participants in VBS when we were crazy, energetic kids and through the years to become the most reliable crew leaders. From setting up to tearing down, we were always there either with our moms when we were younger or by ourselves when we got older. We went through the same confirmation class and were confirmed by Bishop High. I personally was very scared of the bishop turning around his ring for his love tap. And I didn't want to put my arm around Sarah for the picture afterwards. Girls had cooties at that age and I was very careful not to contract the deadly disease. <laughs> As well as our acting careers in the church, we were also singers and musicians. We like to consider ourselves amazing singers in the children's choir because we had also made the all-district choir at our elementary schools. For a few years on every Christmas Eve, at some point during the services, you could find him in the choir loft playing trombone or me playing piano. We both started acolyting and serving at the altar after kindergarten. We both became lead therapists and acolyte masters, and are both proud to say that neither of us hit Phyllis with the thurible, nor did we catch the altar on fire. <laughs> I think the carpet may be polka dotted in a few places, though. We served at Mother Amy's, Deacon Lisa's, and Deacon Annette's ordinations, and served at Father Jim's and Father Scott's installations. Outside of church, she also served as my dance partner for some ballroom classes that I had to take, and you can bet that he stepped on my feet multiple times. <laughs> Some of the older youth in the church talked about this wonderful camp they went to every summer called Camp Cruises. I started going after my second grade year and went all the way through high school. It was always cool to see the older kids from church there and to meet other teens from around the diocese. Plus, when you're a seven-year-old, why shower when the pool was a big bathtub you got to swim in every day? <laughs> from learning about God to learning how to properly escort a young lady and dance, Camp Cruises was always a fun experience. The summer after our sophomore year, we were chosen to represent St. Martin's and the Diocese of Fort Worth at the Episcopal Youth Event, or EYE. We went to Pennsylvania and saw many beautiful girls, beautiful churches, my bad, <laughs> <laughs> and meeting wonderful girls, wonderful people from around the United States. Since we have both been going to this church for so long, we have received birthday blessings from Father Reese, Father Jim, Mother Amy, Father Mike, and Father Scott. And thank goodness, because we wouldn't be here without them. Scouting has been a wonderful experience at the church. From the many Scout Sunday blessings, to the help and support you gave me for my Eagle Project to expand the Outdoor Worship Center. Without this church, I wouldn't have met many of the most influential people in my life, especially my babysitter of about 12 years. So, late, so lastly, I would like to say thank you to the St. Martin's community for the love and support through all this time and giving me a place to call home for the past 18 years. Though I have only been here for 14 and a half years, my time here has produced some of the greatest memories, and I am proud to call St. Martin's a second home. As I prepare to go to Rhodes College in Memphis, Tennessee, and Sarah prepares to go to University of Arkansas in Fayetteville, <laughs> our faith foundation that we have learned in Sunday school will guide us as we continue our journey of faith through our college years. This isn't a goodbye, just so long for now. We'll see you around during the holidays and summer breaks. Thank you.